what is up ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel i know i know i'm late all right everybody and their mom has already talked about this advanced warfare 2 the leaks are out apparently actually apparently not <laughs> the good thing about waiting you know a little bit of time before uh, making a video is that we get new news uh, on top of it so uh, apparently rouse valve leaked that advanced warfare 2 was going to be sledgehammer's new title coming out in 2025 which honestly the year doesn't really make sense we'll get to that later but advanced warfare 2 i want to give my thoughts on it why it might work why it might not work uh just kind of give some perspective i know a lot of people are already saying this this isn't exactly breaking news anymore because it's maybe like two days old one day old at the time i'm making this video again i touch grass i'm sorry i i wish i could upload every day i wish i could just sit on my hands every day and just you know i don't know eat doritos and and play games and make videos every like every five seconds but like i can't okay i'm sorry no disrespect to other youtubers who, who can do this but just that's not the life i'm i'm purposely trying to live right now so anyway if you're into the video if you enjoyed it at any point make sure to leave a like subscribe if you're new to the channel the channel's been doing really really well and i expect it to do good going into the winter season because uh modern warfare 2 is going to get a lot of hits and i'm I don't hate the game, so, you know, hopefully we'll see what happens going forward. But apparently it looks like Advanced Warfare 2 was on the docket. This is, a, again, according to one leaker, I think Ghost of Hope backed it up too, but Rouse Valve basically leaked that uh, Advanced Warfare 2 is supposed to be the next game coming forward, mainly because Vanguard, a World War II title, fell really, really short of expectations. Sledgehammer was back at square one, tasked with pitching a new idea. And since they already had something going with Advanced Warfare, even though it was a long time ago, uh, you know, people people apparently said yes. And, you know, given the reception that Infinite Warfare got in 2016, a lot of people are like skeptical, like, eh, it might not be the best idea. But to be honest, I think that the timing in those three titles was just what killed those three games. Not killed those three games, but like it was just too much of the same game over and over. I know that's crazy to say from like Modern Warfare to Modern Warfare 2022. Even Cold War to Vanguard, you, you probably like not that they're the same game, but like you know, it, it's a it's a historic time period and stuff like that. Nobody's gonna say those are the same games, but I do think time period and all that stuff does matter. I think that you know, weapon variety matters. Uh, how the game looks, how the game sounds, does matter a lot. And so, honestly, let's let's talk about Advanced Warfare Two. Honestly, I'm gonna be straight up honest with you, and this this might surprise a lot of you guys. I never played Advanced Warfare, but when I did, like later on in the in the game's life cycle, I didn't hate it. I know a lot of people who hated it. I know a lot of people who actually really, really like this game. And I'm just going to be frank with you guys. I don't think I'm going to hate Advanced Warfare 2. I think that we need a game that literally shakes up Call of Duty yet again. And I know, you know, Call of Duty is not supposed to be like this, supposed to be boots on the ground, whatever. But let's be real here. A lot of people do their absolute best to make sure boots are not on the ground. The bunny hopping, the drop shotting, the freaking yy no scope spinning 360 stuff like people will do whatever it takes to get a leg up and say what you want but i think that you know jetpack games introduced a skill gap now i think it's going to be mad hard to play a jetpack game on a keyboard and mouse i, I think that's just going to be like really dic like ridiculous what are you going to do like hit space every like five seconds to jump like that's going to be a whole lot extra i think like at least on a controller or something like that it's not the absolute worst you also got to think about like warzone how is advanced warfare 2 going to implement with like warzone you know what i'm saying because like obviously these call of duties have to be together another thing that makes me doubt this entire leak is 2025 so mono for 2 is coming out right now right it's going to be uh the next call of duty game until 2024 that's when Treyarch comes out then you're telling me Treyarch's going to only have one year for their game that makes no sense be until advanced warfare 2 comes out in 25 that doesn't make any sense also I just remembered you guys remember nuketown 2025 it would make a lot of sense for treyarch's new title to be 2024 and then boom 2025 you know maybe they drop a lot of like black ops 2 stuff or something that year because that was black ops 2's you know supposed year right 2025 nuketown 2025 all that stuff i think that overall the community is probably not ready for advanced warfare 2 i think that uh, a lot of people probably don't like the idea of an advanced warfare 2 that's why it, it didn't come out earlier that's just the way i'm seeing it i think that it's a cool idea though and i think that they need cool ideas especially sledgehammer games dude my goodness sledgehammer games cannot afford to put out a boring call of duty yet again to be honest i'm not sure how they're still accepted to put out a new call of duty after the failure of vanguard honestly the time period of vanguard really killed its launch and then the bugs glitches and complete like 
disgusting challenges killed the game post launch because honestly the guns the maps the time to kill the mini map the perks all that stuff like it's not perfect but it's it, like the inherent gameplay is not terrible it's just the huge lack of dlc stuff it's the huge lack of just like caring about the title about caring about your fan base when you shove in 25 dollars microtransactions like yeah bro i'm not gonna play your game it's, it's very simple you know what i mean i'm not gonna i'm not gonna shoot you know, 3,000 long shots to get one camo. Like, I'm not doing that. <laughs> it's very simple. Just treat your fan base like a person, not a machine, and maybe I'll come back and play your game, but, you know, I'm not doing that. There's also some other news, and I'm not gonna, you know, it's not really attached to Advanced Warfare 2. I'm not I'm not quite done with Advanced Warfare 2 yet, but I'll talk about it maybe at the very end, but the Ghost of Hope also posted about Modern Warfare Year 2, and he says, to celebrate 20 years of Call of Duty, a paid Greatest Hits map pack is in development. On top of Modern Warfare 2 2009 maps, it was also include classic maps from Infinity War, Treyarch, and Sledgehammer's catalog meant to be released for Modern Warfare Year 2. And this is really, really good because uh, I, I don't really love the idea of it being paid, but I can understand it if you're going to give us a lot of maps so I can like understand it. I think this is really good because you don't burn out the Call of Duty fan base because like obviously people are going to get hella burnt out when it's it's the same maps the same guns every single day for you know two three years that's what that's basically what happened uh with mono for 2019 if you play like search and destroy but it looks like they're going to be like fully on board with supporting this and having Treyarch and Sledgehammer catalog maps into Modern Warfare Year 2, to me, that's wildly interesting. I, I like, can you imagine seeing like Raid or Nuketown on like an IW engine? Like, I think that's gonna be awesome. And he also says on top of the 2009 Modern Warfare 2 map. So it's like, you know, we're getting Rust, Quarry, Scrapyard, we're getting all that stuff back as well on top of, you know, new, uh, you know, greatest hits ma uh, map pack. So I don't know, man. I'm hoping that it doesn't cost a, a whole lot. I'm hoping it costs like, you know, $30, $40 at the most. I'm hoping it doesn't cost the price of a brand new game $60, $70. That's gonna suck, you know what I mean? That's not DLC anymore. That's just like, you know, I'm buying a new game, but I'm not getting as much of a new game. So hopefully it costs like about half the price of a full game. I'm, I'm okay paying that. But yeah, rounding it out with Advanced Warfare 2, I'm curious to know what you guys are gonna say in the comment section. I, I, I don't love it. I don't hate it though. I know a lot of people are gonna hate this. I think that they need to do something different, and if it's not Advanced Warfare 2, it's got to be something different. I don't know about jetpacks, but no World War II, no Cold War, no historical stuff. I, I heard that you know Black Ops uh, 5 or whatever the next Call of Duty game for Treyarch is coming out. I heard that it's apparently going to be called like Black Ops Golf War or something like that. I, I sure hope not. I, I think that you know Call of Duty is at its best when it's like realistic but doesn't take itself that seriously i think the only cod that it took itself seriously that was successful was probably cod 4 and like maybe world at war and like maybe mono for 2 but like i didn't love that game so i don't know those are like the only cod games like you know what i'm saying like black ops 3 didn't take itself seriously really fun game black ops 2 didn't take itself seriously really fun game you know it, it set itself in like a slightly futuristic and it lived there I think like Cold War Vanguard, like it, even Modern Warfare, like it sets itself in a somewhat serious environment and then it doesn't live there. It just moves around. It's like, oh, hey, God, we got a pink bunny. Uh, we got the Michelin man. We got, I, I don't know, freaking LeBron James. I don't know if he's in this, but you know what I'm saying? Like they just got random stuff. We got Halloween stuff, you know, Halloween DLC characters coming in as, as like, uh, DLC characters or whatever. And it's just like, it's, it's just a little jarring. It's just a little like, eh, I didn't need this in my game. Don't really want this in my game. And uh, that's where I'm at. <laughs> so that is basically my thoughts on Advanced Warfare 2. I don't think it's happening. I'm pretty sure Charlie Intel already uh, dismissed this rumor as as just being a rumor or whatever. So I, I don't think it's going to happen. But yeah, you let me know what your thoughts on this in the comment section down below are. Again, if you're new, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel. I really appreciate the recent support. It's been really nice really fun making videos again really refreshing having stuff to talk about after call of duty vanguard my god but yeah that's it for the video guys hopefully you enjoyed it uh i'll see you guys later have a good weekend if i don't see you and uh peace